Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another vintage GI Joe toy review. And today I'll be do looking at the 1985 Mail Away Parachute Pack. Well, it was first available in 1985. As you can see, the uh, the artwork is, is actually the same as the, the one for my green t-shirt, which I like so much, but chose not to wear it because it's kind of cold now. And interestingly enough within the blurb they actually encourage you to buy a couple of these these were kind of cheap at a dollar 25 plus a couple of flag points but they're actually encouraging you to buy a couple of these to equip your own skydiving team which is a very funny thing because Hasbro would later do that themselves in 1990 with the Sky Patrol and here's the original box for a parachute pack mail-in Opening it up, uh, we have uh, everything all in one bag, just as made in Hong Kong, nothing special. The instruction sheet and uh, blueprints. And here we have a more mail, more, uh, another mail in catalog, which I believe is 1988, meaning that this is later probably a later version. And there's the image of the parachute pack that we all know and love. The parachute pack comes with, well, obviously a rather large parachute. As you can see it has a rather nice camouflage pattern on it. And the G.I. Joe logo, which is kind of circular and a little hard to see here, but it's repeated three times right in the middle. The strings are factory attached by what looks to me like scotch tape. Rather unprofessional looking, but it obviously does work as this thing uh, kind of holds up rather well. I would have thought they would have glued that or attach it in some other way. The other thing that this comes with is an opening backpack for the parachute pack to actually be folded and put in there. It comes with a harness, which you crisscross over the figure, a helmet, and an oxygen mask, which, and these two are the same things that come with uh, Ripcord. Now, according to the instructions, you have to loop the uh, strings into a hole in the uh, open backpack. And that's pretty much uh, the easiest thing to do here. The hardest thing is to loop the harness strap into the back of the backpack. Quite frankly, I, I found that to be rather hard to do. It has these nubs here to keep the, um, to keep the harness from kind of going out of the loops here accidentally, but th those are rather big nubs. And I've always found that the, uh, the crisscrossing straps to be uh, just, a, just a little small when you, once you put a figure in there. It does work, mind you. And of course the harness is where you plug in the oxygen mask and it holds in there actually better than the 1984 uh, harness from Ripcord. As I've already had experience throwing up the uh, Sky Striker parachute and this being pretty much the same thing, I know that this thing will float, but I've always been curious as to whether or not the parachute as described here would deploy once you opened it up. Quite frankly, I had my doubts. So I'm going to try that right now. I was going to try it with a ripcord figure, obviously, because it would look rather cool. But this is my only ripcord figure, so I'm going to use a stunt double for that. Oh, that had to hurt. 
Okay, well, I don't consider that to be a total failure because, well, upon inspection of the um, crash site, the parachute had opened up a little bit, far more than when I had dropped it out. And of course, according to the instructions, I should have thrown it upwards, which would have given it more air friction. So more of it would have uh, uh, caught and caught the air and maybe ballooned out. So now I'm just going to deploy the whole thing, just, just sort of take the whole thing out here, unravel it, and just throw it out, <laughs> just throw it out the window just like that, just to see whether it'll work or not. When Hasbro says it can float, or fly, or go over terrain like a tank, they mean it. Good job, Hasbro. On the aftermarket, the parachute pack is, is very cheap. It's very easy to find one loose, and even even very fairly easy to find them uh, still sealed in the packages. They made them for quite a while after 1985. As a matter of fact, there were two more very peculiar uses of the parachute pack. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.